Hey, this is Scott Sackett. I am uh, recording a video. First off, I want to apologize. I'm fighting a cold, so if I cough or sniffle, I apologize for that. I just got back from uh, New York Comic Con, and I think I caught some con crud up there. Anyway, I wanted to share this. Uh, this video I'm primarily making for um, Ellis. I've been able to talk to Ellis since I got back, and I wanted to share with him something I found. I thought I would share it with anybody that happens to see this. Okay, so... If you're an artist, um, especially if you're a comic artist, you probably are familiar with these books. I have multiples of this one. This is all the George Bridgman books. Now, George Bridgman is a guy, and these are the... Sorry, I'm holding my phone. These are his um, books. Um, the Heads, The Human Machine, Constructive Anatomy. I got a couple copies of it. Bridgman's Life Drawing, The Book of a Hundred Hands. So... Um, if you, if you ever go to a portfolio review with an editor, um, and they don't like your anatomy, odds are, at least for a long time, they would tell you to read Bridgman's books. So you can see I got Bridgman's books. Um, okay, so these are the individual books. Um, now this book is interesting because this book is the book that Frank Frazetta learned anatomy from. He was doing something or and somebody told him, oh, you don't know anatomy, and so they gave him this book, and he took it home, and he copied all the drawings in it, and the next day he said, I know anatomy now. Um, <laughs> I'm not Frank Frazetta. Um, this book is kind of, and this one is like a general overview of the figure, Bridgman's life drawing. Constructive anatomy is more um, individual muscles, that sort of thing. You can see I got a couple copies of it. If I find these cheap, I'll buy them. Um, I got one that I've labeled master copy because I've gone into written notes in it. Um, the human machine talks about, the human machine talks about how, um, all the muscles work together. Um, heads, features, and faces is that, and there's one on hands. And I think that's everything. I think I got all of them here. There may be one I'm missing. Um, okay, so that is kind of the individual books that came out. Well, then there's a compilation book, and I don't have a dust jacket on mine, but it's this. Bridgman's Complete Guide to Drawing from Life. And so what they did on this is um they went in and they combined all these books and they made this one book um now one of the problems with bridgman is it's he, he's he's challenging to understand he didn't he didn't write these books my understanding is it's written from notes that from his classes he taught classes at the uh at the school of visual arts i think it's where it was in new york and uh He's well known for, for having um, a lot of famous students. I think uh, Norman Rockwell was one of his students up there. And so this is a, basically a compilation of his notes, or notes up from his classes combined with his drawings. Now, some of the drawings are are um, rough, I guess would be a good way. They're, they're diagrams. Um, he's, he's trying to do... It's supposed to go along with the text. So... Um, honestly, I've preferred the indiv individual books to the big book because the big book, they kind of combined everything and it, um, it doesn't flow super well in my opinion. For example, they might have something like, like this, where it talks about the muscles of the arm and then they'll combine it with like some of the mechanics of the arm. And it, it, it just never, it always seemed hard to get through. Um, but it, it's a good book and I have a couple copies of this. Um, and you can get this relatively cheap everywhere. So what I saw, what I bought on my trip in New York City is I bought this. And the reason I bought this because labeled fifth edition. So it's like, well, what's the, let me see if I can get it a little bit farther away from that. It's the fifth edition. So I, I, I flipped through it. And I, so I thought for the video, I'd kind of flip through it a little bit and show you some of the difference. Now, one of the things that I noticed right off you can see it right here. It has two colors. I don't know if you can tell it's red. Um, and if you read in the in the uh, introduction, it says they went in and relayed out the text. And they didn't, as near as I can tell, they didn't. They they didn't um, rewrite it necessarily. I think they left it basically the same as it is. But um, they relayed out how it. How it, uh, oh, here's a perfect example. Okay, so this is the page labeled torso structure. Okay, and then it's got the structure here. And it's got it's got the, the muscles, and it's got the numbers, and then over here it talks about them. 
Okay, so on here, this is this basically the same page, and they've rescanned all the art supposedly. Um, okay, so here they have that, and they have they have this, which is very helpful if you've ever tried to figure out how the muscles go together in the armpit, because that's pretty. And they've got the muscles, and you notice the muscles are red, and then this here where it talks about the the act the mechanical part of it, where it talks about the muscles, rather than just label it, they've got it with the label. So if you look at this page in the new book, you can see what the muscle is, and then you can read about it. The the notes that it has in the old one over separately, they've incorporated into the muscles. And so they've rejiggered some of it. Um and I'll see I've drawn on this page. I, and I draw on these books. Um and you can see, but see they've they've kind of relayed it out so that it, it works a little bit better. They've broken up the text. Okay, so here's a good example. So this is the this is the torso and profile page. And so it's this long block of text here. Well, they kind of they got the same picture and they've got the text as as a as unbroken column. Or it, you know, and the drawing is a little smaller in there, but then they've incorporated this, you know, this next stuff on that page and on here it's on these are on the next page and here they're on this page so they've tried to reorganize it so it reads a little bit better and the text is a little bit clearer and just the way it's laid out see so this is all here on the torso and then over here it's, it's down here it doesn't take a whole page it's the end of that page and it, again it's got the Instead of having the muscles listed and then the description, it's got the description written in the muscles. And again, the muscles are in red and, and the highlighted text is in red. So like I was looking at today and uh, one of the things I liked is it has, it seems to have like some of this stuff broken up a little bit better in terms of like how the arms are laid out. I think... This is a good, because one of the complaints, one, well, one of the problems with Bridgman, everybody recommends Bridgman to people wanting to learn anatomy. One of the problems is it's not super clear. It's not necessarily a good beginner book. I don't know if this changes that. It looks pretty good. But, um, but I think it goes a long way towards making it more user-friendly. Um, like I said, I got this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it because I was actually going through um, that Green Bridgman book and uh, studying it. And so I'll just roll it into this and study this. Um, I don't know if this is available in hardcover. I got it in paperback. That's what I saw. I don't know if they make if they made the old edition in uh, hardcover anymore. I think, I think the ones that I have are old. You can see this one is kind of coming apart there in the seams. But anyway, that's so this is my review of the fifth edition of Bridgman's Complete Guide to Drawing from Life. Anyway, thank you for listening. This is Scott Sackett. If you enjoyed this, you can check out my other videos. I do a, um, a blog called Scott at Midnight where I talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, this, and I do it every, it comes out every Sunday night. This Sunday night, I think I'm going to talk about my trip to New York. Hopefully, my voice will be back and I'll be back to 100%. Anyway, thank you for listening. Have a good evening. Bye.